This video shows that how to create PV module and array in MATLAB Simulink software. It is also demonstrated that how partial shading and faults are created in PV array. First, I'll show you how to add PV module block and related components to this schematic. To do so, use the library browser and add the following blocks to your Simulink file. The first block is PV array. Second block is constant block. Third is diode. Fourth is voltage measurement. Fifth is current measurement. Then product block. XY graph. Scope. Series RLC branch. Ground. And power GUI block. Once you have added all of the components, set parameters of PV array block as presented on the screen. Choose the Kyocera Solar KC200GT PV module model. The module I chose has a maximum power of 200 watt at 26.3 volt. You can also specify the size of the PV array in this window. If you only require a single panel, set the array size to 1 cross 1. But if you need an array of m cross n dimensions, set the array size to m cross n. For instance, I would like to make a PV array with 3 strings and 4 modules in each string, that is 4 cross 3. After you have defined all of the parameters, click the apply button, then OK to close the window. Despite the fact that we have defined a 4 cross 3 PV array with a total of 12 modules, it appears as a single module as you can see here. Although it will provide 2400 watt of power from 12 modules, the drawback with this model is that partial shading or faults cannot be created in this configuration. To fix this issue, reopen the PV array block and set the parameters as shown on the screen. I preserved the module model Yosira Solar KC200GT but modified the array size to 1 cross 1 implying that this block will be used as a single PV module. This module's IV and PV curves can also be observed. To exit the window, click the apply button and then OK. Connect the constant blocks to the PV array and set the values to 1000 watt per meter square and 25 degrees Celsius for the time being. I am going to make a 3 cross 2 PV array. As you may know from the theory, when PV modules are connected in series, a bypass diode is connected across each module. Therefore, connect this diode to the PV module. As displayed on the screen, these are the diode's parameters. Now copy and paste these blocks to make a 3 cross 2 PV array. As depicted, connect PV modules to one another. In each string, you can also use a blocking diode. Our PV array is now complete. Through this configuration, we can create partial shading and faults in the PV array. We will measure current and voltage of this PV array using current and voltage measurement blocks, respectively. A capacitor is used as a load to scan the IV and PV curves of this PV array. As a result, open the series RLC branch block and pick the capacitor from the branch type, setting the value to 5 mF. Use product block to calculate array power. Connect the voltage sensor to the XY graph blocks and configure the parameter as indicated on the screen. The X axis of these blocks was set to the array voltage and the maximum limit was computed by multiplying the VOC of one PV module, which is 32.9 volt by the number of series connected modules that is 3. The first XY graph's Y axis was chosen as array current and its maximum limit was computed by multiplying the short circuit current of one PV module which is 8.21 ampere by the number of parallel strings that is 2. Similarly, the Y axis of the second XY graph block was chosen as array power and its maximum limit was computed by multiplying the maximum power value of one PV module by the total number of PV modules that is 6. 
we will also utilize the scope block to visualize our signals over time right click on the scope and set the number of input ports to 3 in the signals and ports section these ports are used to connect voltage current and power signals after double clicking on scope go to the view tab and select the layout as displayed on the screen also in the view tab check at the legend option now click to the tools tab and confirm the options for cursor measurements and signal statistics in the measurement section connect ground to the negative rail our circuit is ready and now we will run the simulation for 15 milliseconds the overall shape of the iv and pv curves is shown by xy graphs and the scope block is used to measure the signal value at a specific time instant xy graph shows that there is only one maximum in pv curve which means pv array is operating under uniform shading condition in scope window you can measure the key parameters of pv array you can observe that voc of pv array is 97.9 volt isc is 16.45 ampere and maximum power is 1188 watt voltage and current at mpp are 78.14 volt and 15.21 ampere respectively now create a shading pattern as shown on the screen and run the simulation again you can observe in xy graphs that iv curve resembles staircase pattern and pv curve has two maximum points the first one of which is global maximum In scope window you can observe that VOC of PV array is now 97.4 volt ISC is 16.45 ampere and maximum power is 776 watt Voltage and current at MPP are 51 volt and 15.2 ampere respectively Similarly in this PV array we may also create faults such as line to ground fault line to line fault within a string line to line fault between strings open circuit fault and so on it is important to recall that iv and pv curves display a staircase pattern in multiple power maxima for both partial shading and false condition i will give you the demonstration of line to ground fault and line to line fault between strings For this purpose set irradiation values back to 1000 watt per meter square. To induce line to ground fault in string 1 with 67% mismatch, connect the positive terminal of the second module to the ground, which means lowest two modules of string 1 are short circuited and only top module of string 1 is healthy or functioning properly throughout the entire voltage range. Run the simulation for 70 milliseconds. IV curve shows staircase pattern while the PV curve contains two local maxima the second of which is the global maxima as seen in the scope window maximum power of PV array is 594 watt at 78 volt To create line to line fault between strings with 33% mismatch connect positive terminal of second module of string 1 to the positive terminal of third module of string 2 you can alternatively do the opposite that is connect positive terminal of second module of string 2 to the positive terminal of third module of string 1 both are equivalent faults Here 33% mismatch means only one module out of three modules in a string is under fault condition. Run the simulation again for 70 milliseconds. IV curve shows staircase pattern and PV curve has two local maxima. In this case first one is the global maxima and maximum power of PV array is 822 watt at 54.5 volt. This was a demonstration on how to create partial shading in faults in PV array in MATLAB. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments section. 
please subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video